Hi guys, this is Connie, back for some more Connie Reads Lawn Boy Returns. We are on chapter 11, titled The Recognition of a Diminishing Rate of Return. I agree with the last chapter, uh-oh. When we were seated at Arnold's picnic table, I said, give it to me straight. The quarterly tax payments that Savannah filed triggered an adult, oh, triggered an audit by the Internal Revenue Service. Oh, is that all? Seems the tax people are alarmed by your sudden and dramatic appearance on their radar. Usually that kind of money stems from illegal activities, especially when the paper trail is so complicated and diverse. Your assets are in a slight, some might say, a teeny tiny bit of danger from being frozen until everything is settled. I wasn't too panicked, since I'd actually never seen the money after the first few weeks, when I had crammed wads of cash into my pockets. Now all the money existed solely as digits on a computer screen. Can the crews still work? I'd hate for them to lose money. Sure. Pasqual, Pasqual will collect the money from the clients, as always, pay the workers, and then deposit your portion into the bank account. Even if it does become frozen, you can still make deposits. You just can't make withdrawals. If necessary, I'll cover salaries for Frank and Lind Lindy and Gib and Savannah until we get this muddled, muddled straightened out. I'll make sure Joey Pow is okay, too. What a mech. What a mess. Don't worry. We filed an emergency appeal. How long will that take? Well, since we're claiming this is an emergency and that many livelihoods are at stake, I'd say three to six months. How long does it take if they don't think it's urgent? Mr. Page. Don't ask, but in that case, maybe your grandchildren could get some money. Ah, yes. This, I thought, has been a very interesting day. It's only at two minutes. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and cut this one close. So be careful with that and enjoy. Please and thank you, and I will see you for the next installment.